Hey guys, this is Slidehand for you. Slidehand provides free video tutorial on C, C++ and data structure. To subscribe this channel, click on the subscribe button that appear at bottom right corner. Or you can visit my channel by typing www.youtube.com slash Slidehand. Ok, let's back to our topic. In this video, we design a simple betting game. Suppose you have three cards, Jack, King and Queen. At present, Jack is at first position, King is at second position and Queen is at third position. The game is, computers shuffle these three cards randomly and then you have to guess the position of the King. You have to bet some amount of money. If your guess is right, betting amount will be double. But if your guess is wrong, Betting amount will be deducted from your main balance. This is the game. So let's move to the coding section. First I'm gonna declare a global variable int cash equal to 100. Initially we consider you have $100 virtual cash in your hand. Next we write the main function. Here I'm gonna declare an integer type variable int betting amount. Next I'm gonna print some messages. Print a welcome to my casino. Then print a new line total cash equal to dollar percent d. And here we have for cash. We continue to play the game until the cash is zero. For that, I'm gonna write here while cash greater than zero. Inside this loop, I'm gonna ask user what is your betting amount. Print a new line and then what is your betting amount and then dollar sign. Then scan f percent d and ampersand betting amount. If betting amount is zero or betting amount greater than cash, then come out of this loop. Break. Otherwise, we play the game. Here we call a function named play game. And here we pass the betting amount as argument. If this condition is false, control skip this loop and come here. And here I'm gonna print game over. Print f game over. Okay, next we define the function play game. The function play game is not gonna return any value, so its return type will be void. Void play game. And it takes an integer type parameter int betting amount. Inside this function, first I'm gonna declare a character array of three elements. At first position, I'm gonna store j, second position k, and at third position q. Now computer perform the random shuffling of cards. To do that, we use a random number generator function. First we call the srand function and pass an argument something like this. This function sets the pseudo random number generator that the rand function uses. That means every time we run the program, is rand function generates a new number. Now we run a loop 10 times and we will choose any two positions randomly among 0, 1 or 2. For i equal to 1, i less equal to 10 and then i plus plus. Let the two positions are x and y int x equal to ran function. This function will generate a random number but here we want a number among 0, 1 or 2. So I'm gonna write here rand mod 3. 
because if we divide any number by 3, we will get 0, 1 or 2 as a remainder. Similarly, int y equal to rand mod 3. Now we swap the positions of x and y. To do that, we need a temporary variable in temp equal to a of x, then a of x equal to a of y, and then a of y equal to temp. Suffling is done, so here we print a message, print f, suffling is done. Next, I'm going to ask user to guess the position of king. Print f, what is the position of king? 1, 2, or 3. Then scan f, person d, and ampersand player choice. We need to declare player choice as an integer type variable. So I'm going to write a int player choice. Next, we are going to check the position entered by the player, that is player choice minus 1 in the character array A is equal to the position of the king or not. For that, I'm going to write if A of player's choice minus 1 equal to K. Here we use player choice minus 1 because user enter 1, 2 or 3 which will map to 0, 1 or 2 in the character array A because array index start from 0. If this condition is correct, player won the game and cash will be incremented by two times of waiting amount. So I'm gonna write here cash equal to cash plus 2 into waiting amount. Then we print the current balance. Print f you win position of cards equal to percent c percent c and percent c one for jack one for king and another for queen next i'm going to print the card in balance your card in balance equal to dollar percent d and add here a new line here we refer a of zero a of 1, A of 2, and cash. But if this condition is false, user lose, and the betting amount will be deducted from the cash. So I'm gonna write here else cash equal to cash minus betting amount. Then we print the result. So I'm gonna copy it. and paste here. Here I'm gonna write you lose. Our program is completed. Let's run it. Okay, I do some spelling mistake here. It should be C-H-O-I-C-E. -E, choice. Run it again. As you can see here, it shows you total cash equal to $100. Then it asks you what is your waiting amount. I'm gonna enter $10, press enter, suffering is done, what is the position of king? Now you have to guess the position of king, I'm gonna enter 1, and it shows you, you lose. Position of cards after suffering are, at first position jack, second position king, and third position queen. We guess the position of king was 1, so it was wrong. That's why $10 is deducted from my main balance and my current balance is $90. Let's try for one more time. This time I'm gonna bet $20. Guess the position of king. I'm gonna enter 3. And this time it shows you you win. Position of cards after suffering are at first position jack, second position queen, and third position king. We entered the position of king was 3, so it's correct. The betting amount is double. 2 times 20 is 40. We have $90. $90 plus $40 is $130. Let's try for one more time. This time I'm gonna bet $30. Guess the position of king. I'm gonna enter 1. And we lose. And our current balance is $100.
this is it so what we do here first we declare a global variable named cache then we define the function play game and then we write the main function this is it hope you understand if you like this video please try it and click on the like button and youtube